What's going on guys? We are joined by Mr. Ryan Wyatt in YouTube LA. We are gonna be asking him some questions. Ryan's the head of YouTube gaming. Uh, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna be playing some Fortnite along the way. So Ryan, what are, you, what are your thoughts? Are we gonna have a good time? Look, I'm actually more scared about, uh, I haven't played since season three. <laughs> and so I, I really can't build at all. Like not even slightly. So uh, we're gonna have to develop a strategy. Pro player, I, I got him covered guys. But I got him covered. Happy to answer the questions though, man. The, <laughs> the real skill is gonna see if we have it in Fortnite. <laughs> so let's jump on into it and uh, see what we got. All right, let's do it. I jumped already, so we're gonna have to land somewhere high. Okay, let's go to- Right there. What about, we could even go Fatal Field, just kind of chill. Right over there. Wait, where? Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. That's, so there's, a, that's an OG one. I'm, I'm familiar yep. with Fatal Fields. Exactly. Reminds me of home. I'm from Ohio. So, Mr. Ryan, as we're yeah. as we're dropping in, tell me uh, some some basics, man. Get me get me into this interview. Let us that way everyone knows what it's all about. Tell me how YouTube is doing overall um, with gaming right now. No, for sure, man. Yeah. So I've been um, I've been running gaming at YouTube for four and a half years now, and it's been. Uh, it's been an awesome ride. We just had our best year ever last year in gaming. So it continues to grow. I think it's also really I cool how global it is, dude. Yeah, and I saw the stats were unbelievable for, for live streaming, just gaming content in general on YouTube where it was absolutely mad. Uh, Big congrats to you guys on, on that. Yeah, we did, amazing. A, we did a funny like um, a funny stat that you could walk to uh, Pluto and back 12 times. That's how much people watch gaming. <laughs> really? Actually. All right, so Ryan, I am gonna, I think they're shooting over towards you, so I'm gonna try to come a little closer. There's a really good player. I actually started fighting him, and then he ran away. So we gotta watch out. Oh, oh, and I went down. All right, so I'm here to save the day. <laughs> There's two of them. There's one of me, I got this covered. And there oh, we go. I knew it. That finish, uh, that finish. You can't abandon me so soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't have good loot. No, sorry, it was good, loot. That was a good warm up game, right? That's good warm up. And warm -up. that's why we're doing push ups. So, if you guys didn't know, for every single loss, we're going to be doing 15 push ups. Moving forward. I'm getting this guy uh, pumped up. That way, we uh, we got that, that momentum going into the next game. My body's frail. I can do like 40, <laughs> I can do 45 over the course of six hours. <laughs> So, so I guess let's hopefully get it. we're recording for a while. Yeah, you going first or me? Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I guess you you can. Oh, the thank, way, thank you, thank you. Way. Thank Show you. us how it's done. Oh, like, everyone you. always so, sees me that's on stream. So screen, kind so. of you. <laughs> Fifteen push-ups. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you're next if you're like a princess, you can do ten. No, no, no. I'm gonna do my fifteen. Here's my marks. Is this good form for you? Oh, dude, it's spot on, man. Don't lie. Bodybuilder form. Look at this, dude. I feel like a, a just a, a trained gaming athlete. <laughs> you better athlete. pace yourself too, man. There's gonna be a lot more Is there, today. I don't even know. I wasn't counting. Honestly, I'd say that's more than enough. You better, you better pace yourself though, because it's gonna be a long. Why? Time. That was the only game we're losing. I'm not guaranteeing any wins. Oh, I know how fast you <laughs> went down. I bet we're gonna be here all day doing push-ups. <laughs> you're gonna get three questions through. <laughs> Yeah, you got much better form, that's for sure. Oh no, your form was spot on. No, dude, I, the chest hits the ground almost. <laughs> hey, well listen, in my defense, I've been doing these like on stream for so long, so I can literally do like 300, humble brag. 300? <laughs> yeah. Not in a row, not in a row. Well, I no, mean, yeah, I, 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 no kidding. I mean, 300, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, yeah, I can, I can do 15. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Man. All right. Hopefully, we're gonna need that AC. You're gonna need in a some second. more kills next game, yeah. man. Don't worry, don't worry. All right, I'm ready. We messed now. up our drop. We messed up our drop. All right, so Mr. Ryan, as we're loading up into this, yeah. tell me what are Mr. YouTube's Ryan, priorities? I love it. Yeah, um, what are YouTube's priorities for gaming? Yeah, no, it's a great question. So a couple things. You know, when I think of like the three buckets that I try to focus on, it's user community, right? right. So the people that are watching and engaging with gaming content. Right. The creators themselves and game publishers, obviously really important. They're yeah. kind of they're the the the, the, you know, yeah. the the backbone of the gaming exactly. ecosystem. They make the great games that we play. So those are the three buckets that you know we're focused on building, whether it's tools for establishing a better business with them and so forth. So, right. obviously live streaming has been a big focus, and we're going to continue to iterate on that. Where are we dropping? We'll uh, we'll drop Pleasant Park, I guess, if you're down. Yep. So we want to keep building on that. There's exactly. more features we still have to create, and to be honest with you. There's a lot of great competitive platforms out there that are focusing on gaming, and so it continues to push us to make sure we're innovating and we're developing kind of the tools that all the live streamers need on the platform. The other thing we're trying to address uh, is we need to create more monetization streams for creators, regardless if they're live or VOD creators, or if they're you know a hybrid of both. Right. So a lot of what we're focusing on now is how can we do more with our what we call alternative monetization. So like 
super chat and channel memberships, memberships yeah, and, but, but we, we still have a lot more that right. we need to do with them right and right. then rolling it out globally super stickers you know i know it's in beta right now that kind of stuff yeah and i mean that's like just the uh like the tip of the iceberg there we got to do right. a lot more right now i did drop a little short of the <laughs> park but that's okay yep don't you worry we are gonna clutch up here yeah so. i have a feeling you have like four kills so that those are the two things there okay. and then with game publishers we're focusing on doing something called account linking so you can authenticate your game account on YouTube. Oh, so like, I don't know if we can actually talk about this. Maybe I should No, 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 ask so, it. It's fine. No, it's so, fine. So yeah, like with regards to, I guess, like your stats. So if you see a streamer and you want to you want to see what how many kills he's got, how many wins, it's going to be like right there integrated into YouTube is what you're saying? Well, so a couple of things. One, um, we that's something we can do. It's right. not really on the roadmap right now, but what right. we want to do is, uh, so we did it with Supercell, right? So we launched right. with Supercell. They obviously have the mobile game Clash Royale. And... Um, what we did with them was you basically could log in your Supercell account, and when you watch the Clash Royale like eSports League, their right. championship, they were giving out um, in-game digital loot. And then oh, so there's sick. yeah, and so there's other things we can do with it. Yeah, like uh -huh. in theory, with the link happening of a game account, uh, we could show your stats, right? Because you'd be able to authenticate, you know, your Nick A account. Yeah. On there. Look at these guys. <laughs> They're playing me over here. Oh, I'm gonna come over to you. Actually, I'm just popping a big shield, and I'll be right there. Ooh, who's behind us? Oh. Nope. Okay, you can still get back in this game if I clutch up here and I grab your reef zombie here. If they do go for the finish, listen, I got, I got, I got third party. <laughs> Good that was player. Ma always, always make sure he has that excuse ready. Oh like it. my gosh, you, <laughs> you saw it live. <laughs> Look at you're over here farming, man. No, 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 dude. Hey, listen, the communication is key. We did not have that communication. No, that's okay. Ago. We're we're multitasking. It's all yeah. good. Yeah, got him, and I'm gonna grab your beacon and look at that. There's a bus right there where I can just put your your spawn. And then we're good. They got us covered. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah, so the account linking thing is real fun. We're working on that. We're partnering with a bunch of game publishers to launch that. Uh, right. And yeah. Oh, dude, I cannot wait for that. And hopefully, it's going to be I'm, dope. Yeah, Epic Games and everything with Fortnite. I hope that comes soon. It's, it's amazing. And I guess that kind of transitioned into the subject of like, you know, where do you see YouTube gaming in like one to two years? Yeah, you know, it's a great question. Obviously, uh, it's my job to kind of always be thinking about that too. So here's a, here's a couple things that have been really interesting to me. Uh, one, mobile gaming has become massive. Oh, I'm back too. Oh, Hold there's on. more. Me... No, don't, don't you worry. There's more. <laughs> yeah, you're actually I... getting you're getting double teamed. That's why a good teammate like uh oh, I would have had your back. No, it's okay. Good. You're gonna kill this guy, and I'm gonna yep. loot him. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna block you off, and I'm gonna kill the other guy who's gonna be rushing me. Yep. And then I'm gonna get that res, and then we're gonna be laughing. It's like you can that. see into the future. Yep. Oh, he's sweaty though. Oh no. You ready for the play? Yeah, please. I can't do push-ups yet. Oh, whoa, I just faced through. Got him. Oh, thank goodness. That's what I'm talking about. My arms are starting to shake. <laughs> um, I'm like, yeah, what were we talking about? Yeah, so like in one to two years, like where do you oh, yeah, kind of transition? Where do you see YouTube uh, gaming? Okay, so a couple of things. One, this really cool emergence of mobile gaming has been awesome, right? So Ooh, yeah. Green of Free Fire, uh, PUBG Mobile. They, right. Not as much in like the US and Europe and some of these Western markets, but it's really become big in Asia. So I think mobile gaming, people watching mobile gaming is actually gonna come more to the forefront as well. Uh, the other interesting thing is our Stadia announcement, right? And oh my God, yeah. And so people um, people being able to watch, like click on a link on YouTube or click on, click on a video on YouTube and immediately start playing that game instantaneously. And so I think we're gonna see this like, this loop close of playing and watching and kind of the lines converging a little bit, right? So right. I, I, I think that'll be really exciting. Both, you know, the, the Stadia stuff will take a couple of years as the games come out and the creator ecosystem, mm -hmm. you know, adopts it and there's more features. But I think that's gonna be incredibly exciting. So those are like the big things on, on my map. Mobile gaming, right. live streaming is then obviously gonna continue to explode. And then kind of, um, you know, play, being able to play video games and watch on YouTube. Right. Quite oh seamlessly. man, I'm so excited. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm like, so, are you trolling me right now or is that sincere? <laughs> no, no, no. I know, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed YouTube asked, added a lot of features. Like they added, uh, you know, stories, they added the community tab, yeah. all that stuff. But, you know, there are some creators who tend to shy away from using that kind of stuff. But I think some of them think that it might affect their channel, their the YouTube algorithm. If they were to post, you know, using this story, maybe it'll take away from their video that they post. And I feel like a lot of streamers have that mentality with their videos as well. Like, you know, if I live stream, it's going to negatively impact my videos. I, I don't tend to notice that. Yeah. Um, um, but I just, what do you have to say to people that might think that or that, you know, where, I, I guess, like, are there any stats that show that? Yeah, so there's, like, a couple questions in there. I think, like, the first one is is around just, like, 
the the quote unquote like the algorithm, right. the the, yeah, the, the, the yeah. beast. Yeah. Um, we look at it this way: it's like we want to make sure that we are surfacing content to uh, to what the user wants to watch, right? right? And so using a variety of cues to do that, and we also still want the ability to manually watch what you want to watch. So whether I'm coming in, so whether it's uh, using your subs feed to find the video or. Right. Oh man, I've totally missed the. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's all right. Oh, you're all good. I'll actually, I'll dive down with you. I'll dive down with you. That way, we're we're kind of landing together. Great. And honestly, we could you could we could use some loot too. So. Yeah. So I think. Uh, yeah, I'm at Loot Lake. Over here. Um, so I think it's a couple things, right? We want to make sure that we're servicing content people want to watch straight right. up. Right. And so we have some idea uh, ideas and cues on, on that. And then we also want to give optionality to make sure that you can find what you specifically are looking for. And but we also want to always be introducing new content that right. is, you know, that's related to it. So I think that's like on the algorithm and recommendation. The one thing to remember too with just uh, stories or live streaming in general right. is like making sure that you're pacing out the content that you're distributing on the platform. And not just all at once, like in this given like five minutes you're posting a two stories, two videos, one live stream kind that's of thing. That's right. And right. so we're trying to do better on like educating on programming strategies so that it doesn't feel like this black box of what happens and what are best practices. If I'm somebody that's uploading, you know, two videos a day, what should I be doing with live streaming and stories? If I'm somebody that just wants to be a live streamer or if I'm right. mixing VOD and live streaming mm -hmm. together. So I think, um, What's on us? And I'm I'm running, but I think this thing might hit me a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you should be good. It's actually not closing. No. You could even get my respawn beaker or my reboot card. So yeah, yeah. I think I think what we owe is um, best practices around these features because it's right. not true that like yeah. uh, like using it is is uh, it puts your channel at a disadvantage. Yeah, we've even the... done studies around like the live analysis. Right. But what came from that is we need to educate on programming. Yeah, so people know, like, you know, maybe maybe the reason why they might see decline is, like, they're using all of their, you know, stories, videos, streaming all together in the, on one given hour, and then, you know, maybe people don't want to watch all that kind of stuff because it's all so saturated in one given moment in time, in that, a sense. That's right, right? right? Like, you have, a, you have a user base that uh, right. cares about the content, but if, right. you are, if you're surfacing up, like, so much to them, there is only so many hours in a day that they'll be able to watch. This is amazing, right. so. Wait. Wait, so you, oh, you died? You just got it in the last second. So now you can go to the respawn card, no. the Ruby, Ruby, uh, reboot card. Where is that at? Wait, dude. Right there. I marked it for you. I'll be honest. You got me asking yes. these these questions over here. I'm sweating. I didn't even know that you You asked me Fortnite questions. I ask you YouTube questions. I'm saving us from, um, I like that. That's, that's good camaraderie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so we're just going to go as far like south as we can. We just want to avoid, because we got to heal up, right? We, we took storm damage. So let's just go far southeast or I'll, even by the supply drop. Oh, speak for yourself, man. I'm, I'm healing up here on the back seat. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna save this. Also, I have no mats. If you want to hook me up, Ryan, and be a good friend, uh, I will gladly. Oh my god, <laughs> that is unfortunate because I have no ammo and no mats. I'm gonna get that res though. Yeah. Let me be the sleeper. I think I'm gonna die here, to be honest. No, you're not. I think I honestly am. You're not. I am. <laughs> okay, we gotta bounce. You got any? Uh, or maybe we should wait. I'm gonna get the supply drop. Campfire. Oh no. Oh no. All right. You're going to uh, turbo build for us? Don't oh, worry, no. don't worry. Dude, I had no hell. I had 10 it's health. It's not over like this. No way. You're not going to die, Ryan. Oh, oh, oh. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are we more sad that we can do push ups or that we just die there? I don't even oh, know. Oh, push ups. <laughs> that was a rough one. It's to honestly lose, it's a good way to get in shape, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I mean, because, you know, as a streamer, like, I'm sitting down all day, so we got to get that fitness. In no, somehow. it's a great idea. I'm, all right, you're going first. Okay, now. okay, okay, okay. Let's get it. <laughs> I'll pump these out real quick. Oh, yeah, look at you real quick, huh? <laughs> like, my arms are still shaking from the last time. <laughs> Your form wasn't as good on the, on the second one as it was the first one. Oh, what? Come on. Yeah. How are you going to do me like that? I don't know, man. You're just trying know. to psych me out right now. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what you got. We'll see. I know. I feel like I got I to gotta zip up and everything. <laughs> I got to like, fully prepare. Yeah. I'm bringing my Nikes for our next one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, that's some good form right there. <laughs> I'd like to see it. Ooh, I'm getting there. I'm, already, be feel, able to do I'm already feeling stronger. Oh, yeah. Dude, you're going to be pumped out of your mind once you're done. The veins are going to be popping out and everything. Man, for <laughs> each kill I get, you should be doing 20 at this rate. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking maybe I'll do double the amount <laughs> you do or something. If I contribute to a game? <laughs> yeah. That's fair. All right, so Ryan, do you want to elaborate yeah. actually on how many uh, notifications get sent out to a YouTube channel per 24 hours? Yeah, no, it's a good question. So per 
YouTube creator channel, uh, the notifications we send out in a 24 hour period is three. Okay. So basically the idea is you're, you know, you're obviously subscribed to multiple channels right. at a time. We wanted to like make sure we weren't spamming notifications. So, yeah. two, so three per channel in a 24 hour period. Yeah. We did a lot of like analysis around this and that's kind of like, that's a, where we identified as the sweet spot. And right. a lot of it comes behind, like you don't want too many notifications to come through. Cause then there's a shut it off and then yeah. it's like, it defeats the purpose of notifications and entirely. And it's like, you know? Yeah, or they're not okay. using them or they're not, and they end up right. not clicking through into the notification. Cause like, right. you know, you get so many, you're just like. Yeah, exactly. It looks like spam in a sense. Yeah. And so, it's very rare that anyone does like three videos a day or three videos, two videos in a live stream. You know, it's a I lot of programming. I, yeah, yeah, three notifications I think is more than enough, so. Well, good, because I was I was gonna make sure we changed it if you thought there should be more. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right, where are we dropping? We're dropping uh, Pleasant Park. We're gonna get a little more comfortable, and um, we're gonna uh, embrace the exact same drop over and uh, over and over again until we finally get a dub in Pleasant. Love it. <laughs> I'm working hard on my uh, on deploying at the appropriate time as hey, well. I feel like I'm still gonna fall a little short. And while you are working hard on that, Ryan, I got a question while we're gliding in the air. Don't mess up your drop. We got it. We got to get it good. But I have a question. So with regards ahead. to um, these compilation channels you see in the Fortnite community, where people are like uploading clips of streamers from all over the place, and you know, it's not necessarily from the streamer itself. People are taking this content. Is that a good thing for the uh, content creator for the streamer? Is it a bad thing? Does it affect both people in a positive way? Is there anything that YouTube is doing? Do they look at it as a good thing? Anything you want to like touch on with regards to that subject? Yeah, no, those are all those are all really good questions. So, I mean, look, do I think there's um, um, these clips that ultimately end up going viral sometimes or they get a lot of viewership. Is that good for awareness around the creators? Sure. But the creators should be the ones that kind of dictate on their terms when that content should be used, right? It's their right. content, they, they have the rights to it. So we have a, 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 a tool, I'm, I'm jumping in here as well. Okay, yep. Uh, the copyright match tool that basically is in the, um, the creator studio. Gotcha. Yeah, so you can use that if you're a creator and you want to uh, capture that content, like you're able to do oh, that. Oh, in the and new so, YouTube studio, right? In the right. new YouTube okay. studio. So yeah, we heard that feedback and we made sure that we had a tool that kind of addresses that. The other is the- I think Stepping up your guys' game, I like hey, it. Hey man, we, we're taking all that creator <laughs> feedback. It's hey. very helpful. All right. Um, it just made, it, you know, it ultimately sometimes takes time to implement a lot of these things and these features and to work at scale, right? It's millions and millions of, of videos right. being uploaded on any given day, right? So like we have to, we have to be thoughtful about how we go through everything, but it, creator feedback is incredibly helpful in doing that. Right. Just went through that whole house, by the way, and didn't get any weapons. I'm going to drop you a, a SMG if you're down, if you're comfortable with using yep, that. Yep, yep, yep. And there's ammo to your right. Better right. than it, what I had before, which was nothing. Yes, sir. Um, on the and, live stream stuff, right? So yeah. we were mindful of people ripping live streams. Oh, they're on us. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pressure him. 38 blue on him. I'm coming over to you. Oh, oh you got yeah. shot from someone else. Oh yeah, he's up on the roof. I'm gonna come get you, Ryan. If he breaks through, let me know and I'll, yep. or if he's trying to break through. Not yet. And I'll pump him. You're baiting him like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow, he's in there. Oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> no. It is rough. No, dude. <laughs> yeah, so in the live stream compilations as well, uh, right. we wanted to be mindful of making sure when, like, we should be not, we shouldn't be surfacing some of this content so prominently if people are doing 24 uh, 7 live right. streams of, of content they don't have. And so yeah. we spent a lot of time addressing that problem as well. I mean, that's good. Like, yeah, that was a big have thing. Have you noticed a, a difference? 100%. In, yeah. Oh my God, 100%. And that's all honestly a big thing, like on Twitter that I saw people were yeah. on you guys about. So yeah. you, I can tell you guys are looking into community feedback oh, and everything, man. Dude, it's good. It's I love it. I have I, these uh, like docs from all yeah. the tweets I get, like aggregating all this feedback, <laughs> and it's great. Yeah. Um, not only things to change, but like things to add and different right. feature sets. So uh, and I remember you kind of brought that up. And right. so, I mean, that was like, I don't know, maybe a long, long time, long ago, time yeah. ago. So I remember you asked everyone on, on Twitter, like what, what kind of feedback and, and features you guys would like in 2019. Yeah. Yes. And I, you guys are always looking for feedback. Yeah. I like it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that was, um, yeah, dude, that's right. That was like July, August. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, thank you for year. that. Thank you for yeah. that. And Absolutely. I'm glad that you've noticed a difference. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 100%. good. I mean, we're doing something right over here. <laughs> So yeah, with regards to community feedback and everything, um, whenever you see someone tweeting out on Twitter, like, you know, that they're having problems and issues, do you find that someone drawing attention to something who has a, like if they have a large audience and they tweet it out, does that help speed up the process in which a, a problem gets fixed or that something gets attention towards it, whether it's a new feature, whether it's this, or is it just better to just handle it privately with, you know, emailing YouTube through the help uh, support program? Um, what would be the best proper way, I guess, to go about something like that yeah that's a man that's a really good question i th my kind of personal take on it is um 
if people feel passionate about something, they should be speaking up about it, period, right? right. And so if they feel like, um, what I, what I think is important for us is make sure that we have all the communication um, paths of whatever they want to take, right? right? So sometimes I feel um, creators feel like the only way that they can be heard is vocalizing it on yep. Twitter. And we do have, you know, robust social media teams that are fielding like, you know, YouTube Gaming and Team YouTube and right. the YouTube Twitter handle. And look, I think that can be a productive way of providing feedback. Um, I mean, people messaging me, any way we can get it, I think it's fine. Um, however, like it doesn't necessarily change the priority order, right? When things come in, whether it's issues, product features, things we need to fix, improve upon, or build, you know, we have to think about it holistically with everything else we have to do, yeah. and you have to make tough decisions so, on how you prioritize it. So if this uh, content creator number one gets like 500,000 retweets on this feature that he really, really wants, that's not gonna basically speed up the process in a sense. It's, it's not just that kind it of doesn't, I think it's like, I think it's like, uh, it's not that that speeds up the process, but how I, th how I think of it is like, well, look, this is obviously really important to the creator community. right? And maybe we aren't prioritizing it at, at the, uh, you know, the level that it should be based right. off of this feedback from the creator community. And so, in that case, sure, maybe maybe uh, something would get expedited or changed from a priority order because gotcha. we missed the mark on how important it was to the creator community. Right. So, it, it, nothing's going to be better from a feedback perspective than coming from the users and how they interact with it, and as well as the creators who are putting up all the content. Right. Okay, yeah, so with regards to like live streaming, I know live streaming is a big thing on, on YouTube and just in general lately, people love that interactivity and everything. Yeah. Um, so with regards to like streaming and coding, um, will we see improved encoding on YouTube so it's more better quality? And I guess another thing would, would we see the live stream delay ever reduced even more? Or is that constantly being worked on to be, you know, to have that that one-to-one -one interaction where it's instantaneous? Because I know that's a big thing with streaming. People love how, you know, you send a message to a streamer and then bam, right away they're responding to it. So yeah, look, I think improving um, the video player is, is uh, on the live streaming. and That'll be something that the team always wants to work on improving. Right. Um, so the latency, you know, for your channel is probably, you know, uh, when you do low latency, like eight to yeah. 10 seconds, right? Yeah. So I think the one thing is like, as we focus first and foremost on what we can do to continue to improve quality and globally at scale, right? right? So, you know, people are watching from all around the world in a lot of different markets with a lot of different internet capability. Yeah. Um, and so making sure that everyone's experience is as seamless as possible, but improving on quality is important. You know, the latency stuff, to, I'll be honest with you, like, do you think, is that something you'd want to see more real time? Because like, oh. it would help with engagement? Oh, or? yeah, 100%. I would definitely like to see it, you know, cut down maybe even to like five seconds, four seconds. Because I love being able to, you know, get a cool headshot and then look at the chat and right away see that reaction versus like 10 seconds later, it almost like takes you out of that moment in a sense. Well, so we, we have a, a, like a brilliant live infrastructure team right. and uh, and they love you, man. So I'm gonna, hey. I'm gonna, send, I'm gonna send over that oh. memo with them on, on both of those. But I, I'll tell you like, we care. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's perfect Market for my for ADHD you. as well. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but it it's is. obviously something with like live streaming. Okay. All the feature sets we're working on, we want to continue to improve on live and keep right. building upon live. And it's it's like a never ending thing, right? Yeah. Because even when we get to the things that we have planned, we're going to want to continue to build on that too, right? So right. we're really committed to live streaming long term for not just gaming, but you know YouTube Live in general, which is is this massive live streaming platform that are people using for a variety of reasons, right? right. So. Yeah, we're pretty committed to it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let them know about the. Uh, hey. We gotta get that delay hey. down. <laughs> I'm sure everyone watching and my A team and my community, they're gonna love to hear that. So thank All you. Right. All right, yeah, the responsive A team. They yeah. want, yeah, I like it. Okay. Yeah. Right. And another thing that people love actually is the Epic Games Support a Creator program, and you know oh whether gosh. it's creators, yes. whether it's just people watching people's favorite creators, and to be able to support them in such an easier way that doesn't even cost them any money, um, in a sense. Uh, so I guess like my question for you guys, for you is like, do you have anything like that maybe planned for YouTube, Google Stadia, anything like that you could touch on, I guess, with regards to yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, there's some stuff like can't necessarily touch on that we're working on, but I'll right. tell you what, that program was right. one of the best, most brilliant oh. things a game publisher has ever done to support yeah. like a creator ecosystem. And I can't give Epic enough credit. And I think we have a lot to learn from that feature. Okay, um, I'd like to hear that. And uh, yeah, I'll leave, it at, I'll leave it at that. Okay. But um, it's on my radar. I right. think it's a great feature. I love how it, it is kind of celebrated both the the community and the yeah. creator alike and um, there are some learnings from that that, that we could definitely be thinking right. about with YouTube. Awesome. I have 600 wood as well too so I'm ready.
Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, we're ready. I want to get in a gun. Yeah, fight. I was gonna go back for the ATVs. I totally just forgot. We, I zoned out in farming mode. <laughs> I, I forgot as well, so we'll let we'll let it slide then. Yeah, half the lobby gone too. Oh, oh, you see these skills? You see these on the desk right here? We got mini impulses right here. Look at that. <laughs> they this the YouTube man, you guys they set this all up, guys, and they did an incredible job. Like the background, it's everything. Great. They built this from scratch. This is great. It's insane. <laughs> and we got mini slurp juices here as well. What? <laughs> yeah, so I guess with regards to like the YouTube algorithm and how it works and everything, are we gonna soon see on YouTube live streams being separate from videos? I guess like with regards to streaming in general, are there any features coming to YouTube that you'd just like to talk about maybe or? So, yeah, yeah. Um, so for the first one, what do you, what exactly do you mean by uh, like separating live stream and video? So I guess like with my channel, so I tend to do a lot of live streams. Yeah, and, yeah. And you know, I still do some videos as well. And I think the videos are a lot more quality Definitely. than my live streams because of, uh, you know, there's editing involved into it. And it's, I, I think I just don't want my channel to be like, oh, there we go. I tagged him, he's knocked, he's knocked. I hit him, I want you to know. <laughs> yeah. Please cut to my footage for the, my three seconds of glory. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so I guess like with regards to to my channel, I yeah. tend to um, I tend to stream a lot. So I don't want yeah. my videos being overshadowed by all the streams. Yep. And you know how people will say like the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff will affect the you know the videos, I guess because or the streams since streams are t they tend to be a lot longer yep. than videos. So it might decrease watch time, which may you know decrease the video the likelihood of the video being recommended. Um, so I guess like would there be a way for the algorithm to differentiate a stream from a video in a sense? Or maybe just have a separate tab, like live streams in one tab. You're gonna focus, be careful, I knocked one, Ryan. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna gas him, so he's gonna be, he should be panicking a little bit. I tagged him for 15. And his teammate's down, so he's got pressure on him. I'm, I'm using a chug jug real okay. quick. Okay, you're good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to this question after this gunfire. Okay. We gotta focus on the task at hand here. Yes, sir. Oh, no, he No. Didn't. He's hurt, though. Oh, but you oh, can still clutch up. <laughs> You got this, Mr. Ryan. I sure do. I think his teammate's still down, so he might go for the res. Oh yeah, working on the Mattis, I like it. Where's this guy at? I just heard him. You might have even left. You might even be able to get my room. No, he's just. Oh, okay, okay. That, or he could be reviving him. He could be reviving somewhere in those old builds. Like next to my card. Yeah, I hear him. That was a different team I just saw. He's reloading. He's gonna need a lot more than that. Okay, never mind. Oh, you got this though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm thirsting him because he upset me. Let him know what's up. There it is. <laughs> hey! We're back, dude. That's what dude. I'm talking about. We're back, dude. It's but, like riding a bike. Yeah, and you got my revive card and everything. Well, I dude, didn't say, I didn't say that. Me. You just got two kills. Yeah, let's go. Holy. All right, where's this bus at? All right, I'll mark the closest one. The closest one is by Dusty, right on that mark. Yep. Yep. I gotta run. Oh, oh man, you can tell I didn't want to do push-ups. What? <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. You just fucked up, though. That ain't no problem. Dude, your aim is insane! Start building. Oh. <laughs> dude, that was good, though. We tried, that man. Was really that was a good run, dude. Oh, my God. That man. counts as a third kill, even though I didn't get him down. <laughs> you literally carried me that game. That's all right. Well, we didn't get too far, man, but that was good. <laughs> that was really good. It was, we're improving. Uh -huh. I think we got to do push-ups this time, Hey, though. you know what? I think it's the push-up set. Uh, yeah. that, that's what's causing you to do so well, man. We'll take that question it's... back to, in the next yep. game. All right, yeah, let's yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to get mine over with here. Man, I felt good. Oh my god. Well, I gotta give you the P90s from now on. You're, I, I you're dropped those guys. Oh, jeez, you shouldn't. I need to learn how to build. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Look at that form. You love to see it. <laughs> I put my phone there so it looks like I'm actually dropping closer to the ground than I am. <laughs> yeah. Off camera, you don't see his knees just resting on the floor. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, we put like a green box down so you can just say, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is actually a really good idea. At, like you're streaming all day and you're not, you yeah. know, you wouldn't move. Like it's a brilliant idea. Exactly, man. Cause like, I mean, you know, as gamers and streamers, you tend to stay a lot like sitting down and everything. Yeah. So you get that fitness in. And not only that, but you promote fitness to everyone watching as well. Everyone will start doing it with me on stream. It's a great idea. Yeah. Well, you don't know that they're doing that on stream. But they say they do. Okay, <laughs> so cause I when, when I watch, I say I'm doing it all the time, <laughs> but I'm really struggling. Oh, okay. No, no, wow. it's, good. it's a great idea though. Yeah.
Yeah, and it motivates me to make sure we win. Hey, <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm like, sweat. My hands are sweating Dude, when those kills are on. Oh the line. my god, I do it every single time I get eliminated. I do 15 pushups, and it's just, I there was a point where I did like 400 or 350 on stream. It was a rough day. Point. Oh my god, it was rough. <laughs> so, rough game, Ryan. Where are we dropping? We gotta get oh, that all sorted first. Oh, rough game for you. <laughs> Rough wow, game for you. I, I was on the fire bars. there at the end. Don't even show his footage, guys. Let's no, just, no, let's no, just no, get no. that out of the video sure entirely. Shown. Just put my face cam over his gameplay. That's terrible. That's the only three kills I'm going to get today. <laughs> we'll go bowler. All right, I've never been. Okay, so we're going to go to the Lasland together. This was like a we'll state go... before or something. Yeah, yeah, it was. There was no snow here. There was no mountain before. So we'll go to that brick building right there, and we'll be good. Cool. Um, yeah, so I wanted to ask you, so... With regards to YouTube live streaming, will we ever see like a separation between live streams and videos? So with my channel, I tend to you know stream a lot, and I don't want my live streams to overshadow my videos once I do work hard on them, and once I do post a video every you know every couple days or every week or so, because I do two stream two streams every single day. Yep. Um, so yeah, I guess my question is, will we see that separation uh, anytime soon, or do you guys plan to keep maybe YouTube just everything together? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a good question, man, especially kind of coming from the live space where right. it's, you know, there's a lot going on there. there there's no plans to, to change it. I think we also right. learned a lot from YouTube gaming of trying to drive people to another destination to separate the content. And it's right. just, uh, that was all the reason why we were really excited to bring it back and right. you know, make YouTube gaming such a big part of YouTube as a whole. So I think a lot of what we want to do is learn how they can coexist. Right. Now, that's not to say, like, to your point, there's not things we can improve upon on on how you differentiate and how you identify content in a library and what's that user behavior. Yeah. But um, there's no plans to like draw a hard wall in between these things gotcha. and separate them. Yeah, makes sense. And that's one of the reasons why I do love like YouTube as a platform itself. Like everything is all together at once. I got my streaming, I got my videos. People don't have to download the separate app to go to this stream and then to watch this video. So I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Yeah, and I think a we like, <clears throat> you know, when I'm talking to the team and how we think of it is like it's a, we're a video platform, right? So like when you're a video platform period, you need right. to you need to be able to offer the variety of suite of video content that people want to create. So like you saw stories launch, but that's why we needed to do live streaming. And when we launched all of that, like the reboot of it in 2015, you know, it all came from the fact that right. we never want people to feel like they have to go to another platform in order to have some piece of content that they want to create, right? Right, yeah. So if you want to do VOD or long form or highlights or stories or whatever it is, right? Like you have this video platform where you kind of do everything. Um, so yeah, so I guess like another question could be while we're farming up and everything before yeah. we look for a fight. Um, just with regards to, I guess, like how, you know, when most people are building up a channel or like whether There's that's through streaming here. or through videos, um, you know, people tend to stick with one game versus going, like, you know, doing variety streaming. And then it's not everyone. But I guess I, my question is, do you, do you plan to work with developers directly um, with specific games to kind of help encourage that when people are trying to build communities around a specific game? Can you give me kind of like an example of what you're thinking about? Yeah, so maybe with regards to, and I think we might have touched on this earlier. Like yeah, with the account to, like, linking stuff? Yeah, like yeah. even with like, you know, maybe a supporter creator with Epic Games. So, you know, if you want to support Nick830, it's directly integrated into YouTube itself. Like maybe you just click a button and then bam, your account on Epic Games gets linked through just a button press on the sidebar of YouTube or in the description or something. Uh, so two things. Somebody's over here. Okay. The other mm -hmm. thing is, uh, yeah, I think the one area that like we got to continue to build on that we haven't done um, a lot of is how we connect the publishers uh, on YouTube to the creator ecosystem. Right. And so account linking is like definitely a big step there, and we're going to be able to build off of that and do a lot of cool stuff. So I think that's kind of the first. Um, that's like the, the product that will first get our foot in the door to start addressing some of the features and things that you want. Can't wait for it, yeah. Yeah, and so he ran away okay. in the hamster ball. That Ooh. coward. Yeah, I'm with you though, if he, if he comes back. I think there's another one on Honestly Ryan to the east, I'm pretty sure. He dropped down somewhere, so I don't know if he's inside or on the outside, but I heard a drop. He's right below us. Or maybe even above, actually. No, he's above. Yeah, yeah. Second floor, two of them, there's two. Oh, he tagged me real good. I'll put a trap on this guy. I heard it. Oh, wow, he got me. He's really hurt, though. I did oh. I did, I did. so much damage. I had 70 white. <laughs> he was almost done. This is rough. No, take it back from this. We're, we're skipping him we're skipping okay. this time. Okay, okay, we'll okay. Add that to the queue. Yeah. We yeah. can't, not these games that are yeah, like five I mean, minutes, you know, man. We're we getting got, this dub, honestly. Yeah. Like, this is not acceptable. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, <laughs> we'll do 120 push-ups at the end. 
Um, so yeah, I, so to, I think we really got to work on building uh, products specifically with publishers in mind that bridge the creator, user, and publisher together on YouTube. Right. Right. And so like you got to bring all three of those communities together. I feel like you know creators have worked with publishers closely. Users are uh, you know have a lot of different ways to interact with creators, whether it's yeah. fan meetups, whether it's channel memberships. But what we haven't done is something that brings all three of them together. Right. I think Stadia is really cool because of the games, right? Like you'll be able to yeah. play, and then I think we can do stuff with account linking that brings these kind of. I can't wait for that. Yeah, honestly. it sounds exciting. And we can keep iterating. You got a release yeah. date? Yeah, no, 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 but we're working on it. Okay. We're working on it. Okay. Yeah, you stay okay. tuned. You yeah. stay tuned. Hey, yeah, I yeah. always, I always hype you guys up, man. You we, guys are killing it. We so got I'm some tricks up. Yeah, yeah, I love you guys. Thank so. you. We appreciate. it. Yeah. We love having you. Hey. Man. We love having you. We just need you to get a little bit more kills in this game. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, that, yeah. Easy. Yeah, yeah. No, just you know, it's just a suggestion, man. Just a suggestion. So yeah, so I wanted to ask you, Ryan, with regards to YouTube live streaming, it's relatively young. Yep. Um, how do you see the service evolving over time? I guess like next year, the year after, three years from now, five years? Um, that's a great question. Yeah, it's come a long way and we still have a long way to go. So right. like I think about back in the day, like 2011 or 12, we had the Olympics, there was like the presidential election, um, a lot of different live broadcasts we had. But so it, people it, were live streaming those on YouTube? You yeah, but to... they weren't good, for, it wasn't good for creators. It was like you had to be really technically savvy to live stream. Right. Um, it's just because it wasn't like YouTube's core business by any stretch of the imagination. Right. And so 2015, we had like we had to overhaul live streaming, make it easier for like a creator to go live, rebuild the chat system, you know, right. add channel memberships and super chat and all these different things. So, you know, it's it's a it's a great product now, but we still have a we still have a lot of stuff we need to do. Um, right. And so we're continuing to dedicate time, features, product, energy, everything towards it. Uh, it's an important part of our business because we're a video platform. And you right. can't really be a video platform are, without it. But even as a video platform, you guys are stepping it up as a streaming platform now too, man. I tell you, I'm oh. very proud to be known as a YouTube live streamer. Thank you, man. So. I, I really do. I do. I really appreciate, appreciate that. It you means guys, a lot the work to me. you guys put into it and like with regards to everything, new features, just tech support, all that. Oh, be careful. I'm with you. Item I got him again. Yeah, hey, hey. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm man. Telling, hey, you, there it is. you build, I'll, I'll break them down, man. <laughs> we'll be the, the best duo ever. There it is. Um, yeah, no, I, that means a lot, man. And we have a we have a lot more that we're still going to keep doing. So know that it's um, we're, we're in it for the long haul with live streaming, man. Right. So, um, I'm glad to hear that as a streamer myself, you know? So, I, hey, yeah. I have so much confidence in you guys, and I'm going to keep on keep on supporting and keep on streaming. I love it, man. Saying Thank nothing about good things because it's the truth, and I'm just grateful to be on this platform. Well, and your feedback is really helpful. It gets us to where we need to be, too, man, right? right? Like, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. Uh, we need to hear from people that are using the product every single day in order for us right. to continue to iterate. We can observe what's happening in the space, but there's right. a lot we want to innovate and do specifically for YouTube for YouTube creators and the users. So right. your feedback is helpful. Okay, yeah. So I guess, Ryan, so as we're, as we're finishing moving up, before we head on out to like Tilted or something, um, I guess like from your guys' standpoint, what do you want to see from us streamers, us content creators, people who are posting videos? And I guess that's kind of a two-part question in a sense of like, you know, to help your guys' community, what can we do to, to help? And then also... Like, what does YouTube, I guess, want to see with regards to, you know, if we're going to be doing well, like, what is the the best kind of video, the best kind of streaming? Or is that just too broad of a question? No, in a like, sense? Yeah, honestly, it's not even that's like, it's a broad question. Like, I think of success from our perspective right. when creators are happy, right? And right. so I think that's what we need to focus on. And I'll be honest, it's like, that's not always the case, right? And right. there's things that we need to do better and we need to work on and we need to develop. And so... Um, I think it's less about like a need for content creation. I just want people when they come to YouTube to be like, right. I can use this product for whatever video creation I want. Right. Right. So if I want to live stream, if I want to use stories, if I want to upload video, you know, whatever I want to do, I can do it on YouTube. And I think right. like that's success from our perspective and people feeling empowered and enabled to do so. So I like it's, that. It's, I like that. Yeah, it's yeah. not even about like, we're not like, it's not anything specific, you know, like we love that people are using live streaming more and more every day. Right. Um, I think it, if anything, it's more about validating what we're building than right. anything else. So, yeah, that's kind of how I think about it. I guess with regards to family-friendly content and non-family-friendly content, um, do you guys have any stats or anything in particular that shows that maybe family-friendly channels do better than non-family-friendly channels? Maybe they do the same. Is there anything like from like a, a big, like an overall standpoint, like watch time, minutes watched, there are more minutes being watched of family-friendly content versus non-family-friendly content? Because I know a lot of people you know, tend to associate family-friendly content with like, being a lot more like I guess successful, a lot more brand safe in a sense. Mm -hmm. But is there anything you can touch on on that? When you mean family friendly, you mean like uh, not using profanity? Yeah, I guess like not swearing and making.
making it so well, I guess like kids can watch and not you know not got just adults. It. Yeah, in a got sense. it. Not right. not like uh, like content around education or learning. Or, yeah, no. Mean? Like I mean, I it, guess you could still be playing Fortnite, but just as long as the streamer itself doesn't yeah. doesn't swear in a sense. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, like nothing from. Um, like when I think about it, like a performance of what does better than other, it, it not, not at all. I mean, look, we right. have um, you know, 200 million people that are come, coming and watching gaming every day, so there's something for everybody in that regard. Uh, but what it does is around, um, you know, brand suitability with advertising. It helps right. with monetization. That's for sure. There's right. no doubt. Like if you're using excessive profanity, uh, advertisers aren't going to want to necessarily put ads behind that content, right? Because right. they too are seeking to to uh, put their ads in front of people that are you know maybe not you know right. swearing so much in a lot yeah. of profanity. and it's been proven so. that those videos don't perform worse it's just it's all about what people want to see in a sense it, it, like right. a lot of people will tend to associate like you know if you swear then you know your video is going to get hit by the algorithm and then you know it, it performs worse but that's definitely not the case it's just more or less like what people want to watch in a sense yeah and you want to give advertisers optionality of what type of content they're putting their ads behind right, right. they're paying for it right um, oh, I'm on my way for that. So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's how we kind of look at it. And gotcha. so I don't think there's any kind of unique advantage you have by being a, you know, a, a channel that doesn't use profanity. But I think it's amazing that there are gaming channels that um, are out there that aren't, aren't using profanity, right? Like, it's really important that we break the stigma around gaming that that's what, that that's what the culture is. So right. I, love, I love that you do it. And I'm gonna get you a kill to show hey. you my appreciation right now. Hey, there's there's actually two teams fighting, so just be extra careful. One's Ooh, on the we hill. Got a third party. He's a solo, yeah. And then there's more to the right, just inside of Tilted. Don't forget about that big shield too, Ryan. And the storm I is coming. Right so. Also, the other thing is I definitely keep forgetting to farm. <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't it a struggle, man? It is. It's oh uh, my gosh. it's not ideal for me. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, somebody's up here. All you gotta do is shoot your weapon. You've proved uh, that you have some beastly aim, so I'm not even worried. Even if you run fast. Down over the headshot. Let's go. Right on me. Ooh, you oh. got me. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. You That's finish. all right. Swag. You better avenge me. Don't you worry. Hey, I'm not avenge letting you down. Avenge me, my brother. I am not letting you down. Got him hurt. No, you didn't. Right? No, you did not. That worked. Got no, him. you didn't. And I'm coming for your uh, for your banner, and I'm going to get you minis as well. Dude, what a savage. That's what I try to do every single day. Top tier gameplay. Every single day. I knew it was day. coming out, man. <laughs> you're adjusted. You're warmed up. Dude, you could go do a thousand push-ups right <laughs> We're now. We're ready huh? for the World Cup, man. I know, man. <laughs> We teaming up or what? I'm, I'm sending Epic an email that uh, I'm, I'm leaving YouTube to pursue my career as a YouTuber with you. We're, <laughs> yeah. we're firing up a, we'll new, start channel. Up a new channel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like it. Um, so yeah, man, I think it's great. I love that you're doing this and you're creating content for people uh, hey. that love and appreciate it, dude. I think it's a really, it's an awesome thing. I appreciate that. Yes. 100%. So I'll go get you with that, with that beacon real quick and tilted. You're not gonna have any weapons, but I'm sure there's some. I can give you. There's like one an right. There's oh. one. You saw him, right? Okay, yeah. On the roof Isn't there? that kind of cool how we can just kind of peek on each other's screens? And yeah. See? Love it. Hope I don't get shot. I feel like Coach A now. Yeah. <laughs> we change roles here. Oh man, someone's to my left. You know that, right? Someone's to my left right now. Oh my god. Ooh, look at you. You just respawn like right here. Oh, you oh, do. Oh my gosh. You want to drop a gun? Yeah, yeah. I will right here. Uh, AR, AR right there. And I dropped uh half my ammo. Right I'm right in there. it. I'm in it. Let's go. Okay. Ammo is right there too, Ryan. I, I kind of marked it yep. back there. Sorry, I kind of. That guy it. run from us? Yeah. Now I need to look for. Oh. A little hamster ball. Wait, he's chilling in there. I'll shotgun him. You do the spray in. Got him. Man, what a, we got we got our strategy down now. I got a campfire for you too here. If you want to come right here, I'll place it down, right in this little one by one. Oh. Bam. And I got you with the minis as well. This is great news. Yep. Look at all this. So much camaraderie, man. Mm, I love this. You love to see it. I love this, dude. The positivity. Oh, dude, here. Look I need. I, uh, I can take up. some wood. Not too much. I have a hundred, so it's not okay, terrible. Here, two twenty-five, right there. There we go. All right, Ryan, we are escaping the storm here. Dude, this is my gun. This what do you got? The, the scoped revolver. Isn't that what Ooh, I used last time? I mean, I don't know if you want to. No, you were using the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, no, it, this thing sucks. Yeah, you were I using the flintlock. The flintlock. I mean, you're going to block that out anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Positive. No, Positivity. no, no. no. <laughs> oh, we're getting shot from the north. The ex careful. Ryan, how good are you at home tasking? Uh, that's not my strong suit, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so I got a question for you. While we're getting shot here, and we got the storm to run. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe we ask after. Okay. All right. We'll hold the, we'll hold the question down. But I'm in. I'm in the circle now. Okay. Both of them are just spraying. Once hard scoping with a sniper, do not peek. Just be extra careful if you do. He's the left side. You think I downed him with a headshot. He peeked too long. He's going to go for the revive. Let's go get him. All right. Let's get it. I'm building up. Doing my thing. 41 blue. 41 blue again. All you, Ryan. Get her done. 
<laughs> out of me. Hey. Dude, this is amazing. We're Let's crushing go. it. We're winning this game. I tell you, 100%. man, the team is on point. Oh, these guys had guns. I'm on these two people, okay. and I definitely was pushing. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy. He's not gonna walk past. Okay, that was nice. Got nice. Oh, he sniped me, but that's all right. Oh, don't worry, I keep the right. I'm gonna get this guy, and then I'm gonna come get your your beacon. Hopefully, there's a a beacon in the area that I'm in. Oh, oh wait, what? He was quick, eh? He was. I'm gonna I'm gonna get him with a flick. Or not. Oh, this guy's a little feisty one. Oh, dude. Where's your beacon, Ryan? It's right there. You got time. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yeah, you do. 55 seconds, man. Take your time. Got him. All right. Oh, there's another one, too. Oh, that's why you got hit that one time. Yeah. And I don't know which one is my builds or not. This is scary, to be honest. I'm popping the slurp. I don't even care. Oh, no. Don't worry, Ryan. I'm not going to let you die. Dude. Nick, you got me so worried. You got him. You got him. Okay, your beacon, I gotta find that real quick. Right here. There you go. Nice, nice, All right, nice. do you think I just dip and then I go for it? Yeah, 100%. If you oh, can you get know out what? of there. there. There's actually, there's no beacon, I think. There's no beacon in zone. I'd have to go in storm and i die. No, all right, finish out the win oh, for us, dude. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try oh try. my goodness, this Jeez. is it too. I think we've asked, I think you've asked the questions. What do you, what, yeah, I know. So this Wait. is like, you gotta end, <laughs> it's like the grand finale. <laughs> if I finale. die, we gotta do 30 push-ups. Yeah, yeah, that's fair, <laughs> fine. You're gonna just have to give me a break in between the two. There's two players left, so you got one team left. Oh, Nick. Uh oh. Oh. Win this. this guy's a little feisty one, Ryan. I don't know what I can do here. You got it, dude. You're better than this kid. You're better. Give him the old one-two drop. He's in the storm. He's probably taking a lot of damage. Oh, he launched. Ooh, he is, he is a squirmy little one. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no one saw that. You have to put that up. <laughs> I'm not doing push-ups. You definitely owe us 30 for that. <laughs> do I got to do the rebound? <laughs> I don't he know, man. That was a that was a bad. That was rough. <laughs> the storm got to me, honestly. You know what, though? It was still a good game. It was a great game. It was a good game. It was a great game. <laughs> it was a, good... <laughs> it was oh, a good game. Man. No, it was fun, That's man. That was awesome. No, it's all right. That's all right. That's all right. All right. We, we win right. some, we lose some. Exactly. You had nine kills. No yeah. one's gonna take that from you. 100. You have more kills than I had. I think all three games, four games combined. Hey. So there's a yeah. I yeah. can't. I can't. You know. Yeah. Who am I to judge? Hey. No, but we were together. We were dominant, man. Something to you say about the, that. You do the shooting, and I I do the building. We can pop off. All right. We're gonna have to get some practice in yeah. next time together. Cup partners. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, thanks for having me on your channel, yeah. man. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, for real. Hey. All right. Pleasure. Good luck Seriously, with the World right. Cup. Thank you so much, man. I'll see you in July. I, I guess I'll so. be there. All right. I'll be there in New York. Hey. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> So guys, I guess it's gonna wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If there's any questions you guys wanted me to ask Ryan that you thought would be better, or maybe questions that you really enjoyed hearing the answers to, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, Ryan, any final thoughts? No, and you know what? If there's some questions in the comments and they get like bumped up to the top, or if you want, I'll, I'll go in and answer them. All right, so, there you go. Yeah, maybe just Ryan will answer uh, after, uh, after the video is posted. So check it out, guys, and right. leave your comments. Thanks for having me, everyone. So three, two, one, and...